WKAR presents Quizbusters. Production of Quizbusters is made possible in part by Consumers Energy, building Michigan's future by supporting excellence in education. Consumers Energy, count on us. By the Michigan Education Association and its 160,000 members, advocating for a world-class public education that ensures a bright future for Michigan students and economy. Online at mea.org. And by viewers like you. Now, here's the host of Quizbusters, Matt Ottinger. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dan. Welcome, everyone, to Quizbusters. Last time on our program, you saw Okemos defeat Lansing Eastern in our first Green Division quarterfinal. This is our first White Division quarterfinal. We've got, now with that win, we've got 15 teams left in our tournament. And there's two of them right there, the Royals of Jackson Christian, the Hornets of Hillsdale. We'll introduce you to the team that's at individually at halftime like we did the first time that they played, but we want to get right to the game. Everybody wants to play. We're going to start with the quick 10, our first 10 toss-up questions. A quick good luck to everybody. Let's get started. The quick 10 begins with question one. What purple variety of quartz is February's Jackson Christian Kennedy? Amethyst. Is February's birthstone. That's right. Question two. What element with atomic number 15 has the symbol P? Uh, Hillsdale Michelle. Phosphorus. Phosphorus is right. Ten points. Question three. How many voting members are there in the U.S. House of Representatives? Jackson Christian. Katie. 435. Exactly right. 435. Question four. Who established the Greek school of philosophy called the Academy? Hillsdale Alexander. Plato. It was Plato. That's right. Question five. Which of your five senses is known as olfactor? Hillsdale Michelle. Scent. Scent, smell, that's exactly right. Olfactory is a sense of smell, a sense of the scent. That's right. Question six. The Seine River, S-E-I-N-E, -E, flows through Paris and empties into what channel? Jackson Christian Kennedy. The English Channel. The English Channel is right. Question seven. The species Homo sapiens is a member of what order? Jackson Christian Kennedy. Primates. We're primates. That's exactly right. Question eight. What is the first name of the current Prince of Wales? Jackson Christian Kennedy. Charles. Prince Charles is the Prince of Wales. That's right. Question nine. Name any one of the four March sisters in the book Little Women. Hillsdale Bethany. Joe. Joe, Meg, Beth, and Amy. Question ten. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you is typically known as Jackson Christian Chris. The golden rule. The golden rule. What rule? The golden rule. And that's 10. Well played, players. All 10 questions answered correctly. Nicely split between our teams. Jackson Christian with the early small lead. New toss-up question now leads to a bonus category for one of our teams. Here we go, players. In one work by this author, Jim Nolan's friend Mac works as an organizer for the Communist Party. This author of In Dubious Battle used the biblical story of Cain and Abel as the basis for his East of Eden. Name this uh, Jackson Christian Kennedy. Steinbeck. J name this author of The Grapes of Wrath. John Steinbeck is the right answer. Jackson Christian, you get the bonus first. Chris, Chris answers from you now when you've talked to your teammates. The stacker variety, S-T-A-C-K-E-R, the stacker variety includes additional color arcs. First, name this weather phenomenon caused when sunlight shines on water droplets. The rainbow. Of course. Light in a rainbow undergoes what process where its direction changes as it passes through a medium in which its velocity is different? Refraction. Refraction is correct. What form of backscattering produces a smaller, circular version of a rainbow? Pilots see them in their plane's shadows on clouds. A double rainbow. Uh, not a double rainbow. It's called a glory form. Glory is the word for that. 20 points on your bonus takes you up to 90. We're up to a new toss-up. A replacement for the Garnier Opera is located on the site of this former fort. Its governor, the Marquis de Launay, was killed when it fell on July 14, 1789. 
What Paris prison in the 12th... Uh, Jackson Christian Kennedy. The Bastille. The Bastille. Very quick in that buzzer. Kennedy, two in a row for Jackson Christian. Right back for the bonus. An ingenious knight appeared in a novel published in 1605. First name that deluded lover of courtly tales created by Miguel de Cervantes. Don Quixote. Right. The what squire of Don Quixote rides a donkey named Rucio? Sancho Panza. Sancho Panza. Yes. Sancho Panza. Sancho Panza is right at a taken either name. Quixote was unhorsed by one of what machines after he mistook it for a giant and was atta and attacked? A windmill. A windmill tilting at the windmills. 20 points on that one. Pretty easy set if you know the story, of course, and Jackson Christian quickly up to 140 with those first two toss-ups. We're playing our one-on-one -on -one game now, the pop quiz. B-E-T will be the letter set we'll work with. B-E-T. We start with Katie from Jackson Christian and Bethany from Hillsdale. The second letter of the Greek alphabet. Bethany. Beta. Beta is the second letter of the Greek alphabet. Next, the red supergiant located 400... Bethany. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Nicely done. B-E-T-E-L. That's right. Next. Of superior quality or excellent? Katie. Better. Better. Exactly right. Sa save that sweep there. Stefan from now from Jackson Christian. Michelle from Hillsdale. Happening or existing in the distance or interval separating two points in space or time? Michelle. Between. Between is the word. Tricky definition. That's right. Next. The Drug and Alcohol Rehabilitation Center in Rancho Mirage, California, co-founded by a former first lady. <coughs> Stefan. Betty Ford. Betty Ford Clinic, exactly right. You hear about celebrities going there all the time. Finally, the town in northwest Jordan near Jerusalem. Which one? Michelle. Bethlehem. Which was the birthplace of Jesus. That's right. Ten points there. Chris now, Jackson Christian, Alexander Hillsdale. The three-word name of the nationwide system of local organizations whose function is to receive and investigate customer complaints of dishonest practices. That's your Better Business Bureau is what I wanted there. Next, the area in Maryland near Washington, D.C., which is home to the National Naval Medical Center. You hear about, uh, sorry, Alexander, that was like you hear about presidents being taken to Bethesda. Finally, engaged to be married. Alexander. Betrothed. Betrothed. Nicely done on a tough word. Kennedy now, Jackson Christian, Elliot Hillsdale. The two word colloquial term for a person's spouse, usually intended in a comic and. Kennedy. Better half. The better, your better half. That's right. Comic in slightly disparaging way. Next. The three-word title of the PBS children's puppet show designed to promote reading. Your younger brothers and sisters would be familiar with Between the Lions. And finally, to deliver or expose someone to the enemy. By Kennedy. Betray. To betray by treachery or disloyalty. And that's our quiz. Well done, players. A pretty equal split. I believe Hillsdale gained a little bit of ground on that one. We go back to a toss-up to lead to a bonus category. Here we go. Everybody's back in. NASA's Compton Observatory detected bursts in this band of the electromagnetic spectrum. The Fermi Space Telescope, formerly GLAST, observed phenomenon in this band at energies above 10 kilo electron volts. Name this electromagnetic band denoted by the third Greek letter. Hillsdale Bethany. Microwaves? It's not microwaves. No, I'm sorry. Jackson Christian. The rest of that uh, denoted by the third Greek letter. Stefan. Gamma waves? Gamma. Gamma rays, gamma waves. That's, gamma is the key word that I needed there. Yes. Jackson Christian to you. One painter's Women in the Garden shows three women in flowing white dresses gathered around a man in a tan suit holding a bouquet of flowers. First, name that French artist, also known for paintings of haystacks and water lilies. Monet. Monet is right. Monet belonged to what movement that also included the work of Camille Pizarro and Edgar Degas? Impressionism. Impressionism. Impressionist movement. That's right. The name Impressionism came from one of Monet's paintings showing what event at La Havre? Oh, man. 
I need your answer. A battle. No, I'm sorry. The, the, the work was called Impression Sunrise. It was a sunrise. 20 points again, though, on your bonus up to 200. You go new toss up, everybody. The number of diopters is one over this quantity that equals half the radius of curvature for a concave mirror and also equals one over the sum of the reciprocals of object and image distance for a thin lens. At what distance from a lens do parallel rays... Uh, Hillsdale Alexander. The focal point? The focal point, the focal length. That's what, I, that's what I'm looking for. Exactly right. Well done. In December, Hillsdale, bonus for you, Alexander. Answers from you. Some catching up to do. In December 2010, a U.S. government agency held a press conference to announce the discovery of a bacterium that could use a toxic element instead of phosphorus in its DNA. First name the administration that also studied the ALH 84001 meteorite from Mars. NASA. NASA's right. Next, name that toxic element discovered by Albertus Magnus in the 13th century. Cyanide? Not cyanide. Good guess. Arsenic was the one. Ten points on your bonus. We're to a new toss-up question, players. This song mentions a songbird who sings before telling its listener not to be alarmed, quote, if there's a bustle in your hedgerow, unquote. And it begins by noting that there's a lady who's sure all that glitters is gold. Name this Led Zeppelin song about a path to paradise. Jackson Christian, Katie. Stairway to Heaven. That's exactly right. Several people got it on path, and Katie was a little bit faster. Jackson Christian, to you, what football penal penalty is called in each of the following conditions? First, an offensive lineman gets into his stance but then moves before the ball is snapped. It is not the same as offside. False start. False start is right. Next, a defensive player hits the quarterback or other thrower after a pass has been lofted. Answer, please. A sack. Not a sack. You want to get a sack, but roughing the pastor, passer after the fact is the penalty we're looking for there. Uh, ten points. A, a, a rare just ten for you, but you've been getting most of the general toss-ups. Good lead for you in the first half. Hillsdale's obviously a good team. They could come back. We'll see what happens in the second half of play, but right now it is time to take a little bit of a break. It's halftime in our program, and as I promised us at the start of the show, we're going to introduce you to the players. Uh, we'll start with Jackson Christian. Katie did not play with us the first time, so she's coming in for the first time in our program. Katie Welcome. Tell us about yourself. I'm Katie Knowlton. I'm a junior. Uh, my favorite movie is Inception. All right. Very good. Katie, let's meet your teammates now. Stefan. Hi, I'm Stefan Bell. I'm a junior. I play trumpet in band, and my favorite movie of 2010 was Inception. Oh, okay. Very good. Captain is Chris. Hi, I'm Chris Cito. I'm a junior, and uh, my favorite movie is also Inception. Very good, Chris. And Kennedy will finish things off for us. Hi, I'm Kennedy Wilson. I'm a sophomore, and I have never seen Inception. <laughs> Very good, Kennedy. Did you have a favorite you wanted to give us? No. Okay, you're fine. You're good. Okay, we've got lots of alternates here. Zach Schneider, Matt Dubinsky, and Josh Thomas, and the advisor for Jackson Christian is Joanne Knowlton. As we're taping, the Oscar nominations have just been announced. Lots of nominations for Inception, but not for its director, interestingly enough. Milton, meeting the team from Hillsdale now, the Hornets, beginning with Bethany. My name is Bethany Bowen. I'm a freshman. I enjoy soccer. I play the violin, and I hiked to the bottom of the Grand Canyon this summer. Excellent, Bethany. Lots of fun, I bet that was. Michelle, let's meet, uh, tell us about yourself. I'm Michelle Bowen. I'm a junior at Hillsdale High School. I'm in choir and musicals at school, and I was in the State Honors Choir this year. Excellent, Michelle. Very good. The captain is Alexander. My name is Alexander. I'm a senior at Hillsdale High School. I plan on moving to Florida after I graduate. I hated Inception. <laughs> Very good. Thanks, Alexander. Finally, let's meet Elliot. My name is Elliot Krasny. I'm a junior at Hillsdale High School. I've, I also sang in State Honors Choir, and I'm waiting for a train. <laughs> okay. <laughs> me far, far away. Could be a problem here in the studio. I don't think one's scheduled anytime soon. Thank you, Elliot. The alternate for Hillsdale is Jacqueline Glass, and the advisor is Amy Gramling. We tell our players, relax and have fun with us. You'll have a good time, and I think everybody's doing that right now. Second half of play. Pop quiz waiting for us halfway through. We will end the game with a 60-second lightning round. We've got the video bonus category up for grabs as soon as the team answers one of my toss-up questions. Let's get started with this. When first established near the site of the ill-fated Popham colony, this state capital was called Kooknock. 
C-U-C-H-N-O-C, or Head of Tide, signifying its position along the Kennebec River, K-E-N-N-E-B-E-C. Name this city southwest of Bangor that in 1827 succeeded Portland as the capital. Hillsdale Bethany. Salem. It's not Salem. No, I'm sorry, Jackson. I'll finish it for you. Succeeded Portland as the capital of Maine. Chris. Augusta. Augusta is the capital of Maine. Bethany took a chance, and it was, it was a good guess, but not quite right. Jackson, Christian, you got the video bonus. Question one on the monitor here. Answer that one correctly. I'll have more for you. Derek Polishuk is at the keyboard. He's from the MSU Music uh, Department. He's on the faculty there. He's got question one for you. Listen to this. One of the most popular of American concert works, Rhapsody in Blue, was written by what composer, who also wrote the music for the opera Porgy and Bess? George Gershwin. 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 It was George Gershwin, and I'm told I didn't need a first name, even though Ira was a lyricist uh, as well. Uh, Rhapsodies is your category. In 2009, the Muppets released a video featuring their cover version of Bohemian Rhapsody, a song originally performed by what British rock band of the 1970s? Queen. Queen is right. From 1846 until 1885, what composer created a set of 19 piano pieces based on folk themes known collectively as the Hungarian Rhapsodies? Howdy Shell. No, I'm sorry. The Hungarian composer we're looking for is Liszt. Franz Liszt. Your new queen and the Muppets. I love that video. 20 points on your bonus. New toss-up players. Bank bailouts in this nation will put its deficit above 32% of GDP, far above the 3% European Union limit. A real estate crash ended 12 years of rapid economic growth in this country. Let uh, Jackson Christian Kennedy. The United States. No, I'm sorry. That's not what we're looking for. Hillsdale, you get to hear the rest of it. Don't confer. A real estate crash ended 12 years of rapid economic growth in this country, led by Prime Minister Brian Cohen. Name this nation once dubbed the Celtic Tiger. Alexander. Ireland. Ireland is right. Ten points there, and you've got it. Bonus to Hillsdale. I answer these questions about the work of F. Scott Fitzgerald. First, which Jazz Age novel, Fitzgerald's most famous, is narrated by Nick Carraway and includes the characters of Jordan Baker and Daisy Buchanan? Answer? Great Gatsby. Yes. Desperately looking for confirmation from your teammates. Question two. Which Fitzgerald title character is briefly a football star at Harvard, Harvard while aging backwards from a 70-year-old man to an infant. Benjamin Button. You know the movie, of course. That's right, The Curious Case. And finally, which title character of a Fitzgerald short story is a girl who bobs her hair and takes revenge on her cousin Marjorie by cutting off Marjorie's pigtails? Answer? Britney Spears. <laughs> no. The way you said that so quickly, I thought you might have... It's, her name is Bernice. Uh, you, were, you were actually kind of around there. The, the work is called Bernice Bobs Her Hair. And she... Britney Spears. That, so that sounded pretty good there for a second. All right. Second pop quiz. we got the letters B-A-G to work with. B-A-G. 120-point separation. That's how many questions we have. Katie from Jackson Christian. Bethany from Hillsdale. Get us started. Trunks and suitcases used... Bethany. Baggage. Baggage is right. Next. A long, narrow loaf of French bread. Bethany. Baguette. A baguette is right. And finally, a reed instrument consisting of... Bethany. Bagpipes. Nicely done, Bethany. Three in a row for you. Well done. Stefan now from Jackson Christian. Michelle from Hillsdale. Hanging loosely on the body. Michelle. Baggy. Baggy is right. B-A-G-G-Y. Next. In the Harry Potter stories... The woman who was Minister for Magic from 1980 until 1990. Michelle. Bag shot? No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Stefan, any idea? Pretty obscure character. Millicent Bagnold is her name. And finally, a leavened, donut-shaped, firm, textured roll. Ma Michelle. Bagel. A bagel, B-A-G-E-L, that's right. Chris now from Jackson Christian, Alexander from Hillsdale. The last name shared by two heroes of Middle Earth, who were not, who went, Chris. Baggins. Baggins, Bilbo and Frodo, that's right, not adventuring, lived in the Shire. Next, 
the indoor table game, which dates to the 15th century. And Alexander. Backgammon? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, that's not right, Chris. <laughs> and, and he knows why. Uh, Chris, it's for you. The indoor table game, which dates to the 15th century and is the precursor of the pinball machine. No, no harm done. Bagatelle is what that's called. Final question for our captains. The two-word term for a homeless woman who lives and sleeps, Chris. Bag lady. Bag lady is what I'm looking for there. Ten points there. Kennedy now, Jackson Christian, Elliot Hillsdale. The Black Panther who befriends Mowgli in Rudyard Kipling's stories collected in The Jungle Book. Kennedy. Bag Lou. No, I'm sorry, that's not right. Elliot, any idea? Go ahead. Baglan? No, Bagheera is the panther. Baloo is the bear. Bagheera is the panther. Next. The unusual first name of the caddy played by Will Smith, who was the title character of a 2000 film. The caddy was named Bagger Vance, the legend of Bagger Vance. And finally, the capital of Iraq. Kennedy. Baghdad. Baghdad is right. Ten points there, beating Elliot to that buzzer, and that's the, that's the quiz. <laughs> Next time we hear the fanfare, it's the lightning round. 100-point game, a, a chance for a couple more toss-up questions. This isn't over yet. New toss-up players. This man used Sanskrit prefixes DVI, TRI, and EKA in predictions extending John Newland's law of octaves. This namesake of element 101 correctly predicted the properties of gallium and uh, Jackson Christian Kennedy. Mendeleev. Mendeleev is right. Dimitri Mendeleev, who created the periodic table. Jackson Christian, back to you. Name these Mesopotamian rulers. First, what founder of the first Babylonian empire is known for having his law code carved on a giant steel? S-T-E-L-E. -E. Hammurabi. Hammurabi is right. Next, what... Chaldean ruler, C-H-A-L-D-E-A-N, Chaldean ruler, built the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar is right. Finally for 20, what Akkadian, A-K-K-A-D-I-A-N, what Akkadian, once cupbearer to the king of Kish, conquered Uruk, as well as several other Sumerian city-states? Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh. Sure, I don't know what else. Answer. Xerxes. No, I'm sorry. Sargon. S-A-R-G-O-N. Sargon the Great. That sounds like a Middle Earth character. Uh, 20 points on your bonus. New toss-up players. This author's 1842 trip to the U.S., which included a tour of Philadelphia prisons, was the basis of his American notes. He wrote about Esther Summerson in his novel Bleak House. Jackson Christian Kennedy. Charles Dickens. Dickens wrote Bleak House, as well as the other easier ones I was going to give you, Great Expectations and Oliver Twist. Jackson uh, Christian, once again, name these Asian peninsulas. First, what peninsula to the east of the Yellow Sea is shared by two nations separated by the 38th parallel? Korean. The Korean Peninsula. The Korean Peninsula is right. What site of the Kra Isthmus, K-R-A, is the namesake of the people that inhabit a nation whose legislative capital is Kuala Lumpur. Um, Malaysia. Sure. Malaysia. Malaysia, Malay Peninsula is what I was looking for, and that's fine. Finally, lying east of the Sea of Okhotsk, O-K-H-O-S, excuse me, O-K-H-O-T-S-K, its southern tip is at Cape Lopatka. Kamchatka. Kamchatka is right. 20 points, a sleep of the category. Well done. Kamchatka turns up in our game a few times. I always know that from playing the board game Risk for some reason. It's one of the, it's one of the properties in Risk, if you will. Last, 20, last 60 seconds of the game, the lightning round. Nothing but toss-up questions remain for our players. Ten points when they're right. We take away ten points when they're wrong. 60 seconds left on the lightning round clock. The lightning round begins now. What is the capital of North Carolina? Katie. Raleigh. Right. What does RNA stand for? Bethany. Ribonucleic acid. Right. Who created Sherlock Holmes? Stephen. Conan Doyle. Right. Who is the current Prime Minister of Great Britain? Time. What kind of breakfast completes the title of a Kurt Vonnegut novel 
or a Wheaties advertising slogan? Alexander. Breakfast of Champions. Right. Name the Phrygian slave of the 6th century BC who allegedly wrote famous fables. Kennedy. Aesop. Right. The name of what coastal Texas city literally means the body of Christ? Stephen. Corpus Christi. Right. What is the name of the deck of pictorial cards used by a gypsy for telling? Kennedy. Tarot cards. Right. What is the five letter word for the brief periods of not breathing during sleep? Michelle. Apnea. Right. What gaseous element gets its name from the Greek word for new? Chris. Yeah. Right. What is the capital of Lebanon? Time's up. Beirut's the answer there. Jackson Christian, over 400. You're our winners. I think just the Prime Minister, you were getting a lot of right answers. David Cameron is the current Prime Minister of Great Britain, uh, and I think everything else was answered correctly, and we had a lot of material covered. Hillsdale, the score does not reflect. You guys are awfully good. They were so quick on those general toss-ups, they got the bonuses. You were handling everything else. The regular toss-ups were pretty even with them. We thank you for coming down, having a lot of fun with us, and we, we, we had a lot of fun with you. Uh, good luck in future competitions. Jackson Christian, you'll be back with us in the next few weeks. The games get closer, the games get better as we get onto more and more comp competitive contests. Congratulations for your win today. Green Division action next time. Find out who will play Okemos. It'll either be the Pirates of Pinckney or the Panthers of DeWitt. That's next time on Quizbusters. Thanks for watching. For all of us, I'm Matt Otter. Enjoy. Production of Quizbusters is made possible in part by Consumers Energy, building Michigan's future by supporting excellence in education. Consumers Energy, count on us. By the Michigan Education Association and its 160,000 members, advocating for a world-class public education that ensures a bright future for Michigan students and economy online at mea.org and by viewers like you. Book scholarship awards are provided by SBS, the student bookstore, located at 421 East Grand River Avenue in East Lansing. Become a Quizbusters fan at facebook.com. For more information about Quizbusters or any of WKAR's locally produced series or specials, visit our website, wkar.org.